came to Cardigan because on the bulletin board at the University of Maine, on the education was a little brochure saying that Cardigan Mountain School needed teachers. It looked like a beautiful ivy covered buildings, what have you. So I made an appointment, drove her. And of course, I, I found that the lodge on Cannon Street. And this little boy came out with his dog. And he's the one who convinced me that I should be there. He was a long way from home. He needed Cardigan. And that's what I think I needed too. One year, two years, we were very, very low in students and in income. And that was really tough. And to get through that, I hired an admissions man. It would happen to be John Rich, John uh, Jack Rich, and he salvaged the school. He had been all over the country, and he knew Texas back and forth, and he brought in all kinds of kids from Texas to save the school. You can't be in academics all the time. You have to be outside the, in the, in the, on the playing field, in the woods running, walking, seeing things that you've never seen before. I was climbing Mount Musilaki and coming down and snowing. Some of the kids had never seen snow. Park the bus, let them get out to see it. This is important. It's a whole new life for some of these children. I just always felt that if you could get up in the morning and stand up and go to work and go to school and go to breakfast at Cardigan, it's a beautiful day in New Hampshire. And don't forget it.